Hi, um, I work at NASA Ames Research Center as an engineer and I work on heat shield materials that keep spaceships from burning up when they enter atmospheres, whether here at Earth or at Mars or eventually at Titan or wherever they want to go. Well, I was always really, really good at math. I always loved it and um, I like science and um, kind of by accident, I started out as a math major, but I found out what engineering was by working one summer as an engineering aide and found out engineering is a whole bunch of math. And so I made the change and became an engineering student. And uh, my whole life basically has been working in aerospace, whether for defense or underwater launch type things or uh, for NASA. So that's where I've been working. Um, I really like seeing the spacecraft once they're built. I get to help people decide what materials to use and how to put them on on the spacecraft, but I don't actually get to build them. So, but I do get to go see them after they're built and inspect them and make sure that um, everything's just like we expect and that we can uh, go ahead and launch them. Uh, biggest challenges. That's a really hard one. Um, I had challenges when I was in school, um, but I overcame them and seemed to really find some wonderful jobs. And I've been really lucky with that and worked with some amazing mentors who taught me all about um, heat shield materials and how to design with them, how to test them, how to uh, predict what they're going to do. Um, how to install and, and how to make them all work. And so um, I really haven't had a lot of challenges. I've, I've been lucky. Um, I think my biggest, my most important advice is uh, don't be afraid to compete. Don't be afraid to be, compete with boys or with young men um, and be true to what you really like. If you really like math and you really like science, that's great and I would celebrate it rather than be embarrassed by it. And sometimes girls have a tendency kind of to, you know, not want to do better than the boy next to them because it might make the boy mad. And that's just the way it is. And I think it really makes sense to, to be true to yourself and be, be proud of what you're really good at and, and work hard to be you know, good at what you're really good at. And I think that's really important. I think encouraging girls is really important and I think parents parents have to encourage the girls to to want to do math and science to to find it exciting to um, give them examples of, of how women have succeeded uh, go to your local um, electronics company or um, engineering firm and have them talk to women about their jobs. I, I had nobody in my family who was an engineer. I did not know what engineering was. I'm old enough that when I was in high school, counselors um, counseled girls into math, you know, for teaching, um, never on the science side to be a professional. And so I really didn't know what engineering was. So I think if you can educate girls in, um, in what engineering is. It's solving math problems. You know, it's, it's word problems, really. <laughs> it's solving word problems that they'll get all the way through math. And so it's actually applying all the math and science that they've learned into solving a design problem. So I think if you can find mentors 
If you're not in the field, find mentors for them to explain what they do. Um, not necessarily to teach them, but you know, at least to explain what they do and why they love it.